see that each term in the sequence of even numbers is associated with one of the power terms in this power series. And we also know that this particular the summation of this particular power series is equal to this particular value here. So actually what this now represents here is this is the generating function, the generating function, function of for the even numbers, okay, the even numbers. Now, <clears throat> so what else how can we do? Well, we said in the video that we were also going to look at the generating numbers associated with the odd numbers, okay? So let's, let's think about this here for a moment. So we now have the even numbers, okay? We know what the even numbers are. So let's just maybe, let's just maybe work this out here. So we have, let's think about this. Let's think about the, the sequences that we have, yeah, okay? Uh, we have the sequence one, 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 dot, dot, dot. Let's put that in brackets just to say that that's our sequence. Uh, we have the sequence of natural numbers one, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. And now we've generated the sequence. We've generated the sequence of even numbers. So now we have two, four, six, eight, dot, dot, dot. And associated with each one of these, we've generated, we've generated a generating function. Let's say that this generating function was g1 of x. The generating function associated with this was g n of x for the naturals. And let's say the generating function of this was g e of x for the evens. So what we're interested in is we're interested in getting the odd numbers. So what are the odd numbers? The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. Okay, let's call, so these are the odd numbers. Hmm. So how could we get the odd numbers? Let's think about it. What's the difference between the even numbers and the odd numbers? Well, you can see that the only difference is that each even number in this particular sequence, each term in this sequence, the first term here is one more than the first term here. The second term here in the evens is one more than the second term in the odds. The third term is one more. The fourth term is one more. So we can actually see that there, there is a relationship. So if we could reduce the even numbers by w each term by one, we'd end up with the odd numbers. And actually we can do that. You can see if we took this particular generating, this particular sequence away from this sequence, we'd end up with this sequence. So let me just write that down algebraically. So if we take the even number sequence, two, four, six, eight. And if we take away from it, now, when I say take away from it, I'm just saying that we take it away, we take it away term by term, we would end up with one. Two minus one gives us one, four minus one gives us three, six minus one gives us five, eight minus one gives us seven, and so on. We'd end up with, so here's the evens, here's the constant sequence, and what we'd end up with is we'd end up with the, with, with the sequence of odd numbers. So, hmm. Well, let's do that. Let's look at the power series for each one of these. So the power series, power series of the evens is two plus four x plus six x squared plus eight x cubed plus dot dot dot. <clears throat> the power series for the constant is one plus one x. Just put down the next plus one x squared plus an x cubed plus an x four and so on. And what we'll do is we'll take these away. So we're taking each term, term by term away. So all these become negatives. They all become negatives when we take them away. Okay. And what we end up with is two minus one gives us one. Four minus X gives us plus three X. Six X squared minus X squared gives us five X squared. Eight uh, X cubed minus X, X cubed gives us seven X cubed plus dot, dot, dot. So we can see from a power series perspective that when we take the constant power series away from the even power series, we end up with this power series here, which is the power series, it's the power series of the odd numbers. So if we take the generating function, let's say the generating function, okay, for the even numbers, which we've just calculated to be two over one minus x squared, and if we take away from that, the generating function associated with the constant, which is one over one minus X, okay, we'll end up with the generating function associated with the, with the odd numbers. 
So what we now have is that the generating function, SA, so we call it G of O of X for the odds is simply equal to the generating function of the even numbers minus the generating function of the constant, the constant uh, associated with the constant sequence. So that gives us the generating function of G, G O of X for the odds uh, is equal to the generating function of the evens, which is two over one minus X squared minus one over one minus X. The common denominator here, so now we have, therefore we have G O of X is equal to the common denominator is one minus X squared, or one minus X to be squared. Uh, so one minus X squared into one minus, sorry, one minus X to be squared into one minus X to be squared goes once, once times two gives us two. And then we have minus, we have one minus X into one minus X squared. Well, that goes one minus X times. So we're gonna have minus one times one minus X. So now, therefore, we end up with g0 of x, g odds of x is equal to, well, 2 minus 1 minus times minus x gives us a plus x. So 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Minus times minus gives us a plus x all over 1 minus x to be squared. Voila. So what we've actually calculated here now is the generating function associated with the odd, the odd numbers. Okay. So hopefully what this, this particular video has allowed you to see is that once we have the generating functions associated with other sequences, okay, well, generating functions associated with other power series that encode particular sequences, that what we can do is we can use them to develop new, new, generate, new generating functions that are associated with new sequences, okay? So guys, once again, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert uh, with Maths and Stats. Uh, and I do hope that this video, which is dealing with generating functions, is the next step on our journey in relation to generating functions, which concentrate on the natural numbers, the even numbers, and the odd numbers. I hope that this video was intuitive. And more importantly, I do hope that was helpful, uh, helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.